creates an emotion inside of you which uh, which you live for afterwards when you, when you have been when you have been struck by that emotion it's very difficult to say okay now for two years i don't want to play the guitar anymore that's nearly impossible so i think that's the you know that's the main reason why i keep on going because i want to hunt that addiction of that emotion I had had another musical life playing, you know, soul music and jazz music. So for me, it was a, it was a, actually a big change. But when I got this Spanish guitar, it was just like, a, you know, a, having a new love affair or something like that. It was primarily the sound, you know, it was, it was very, very simple actually, not so mystic. It was the sound of the guitar. It was just different. And that is the thing you cannot explain. My mother is from Sweden. And when I grew up, I listened to some, you know, I list, especially one record uh, called uh, Jazz in Swedish by a very famous piano player called Jan Johansson. And I heard that song, I've heard that album a million times. And that has a very Nordic, melancholic mood in it. And the funny thing about the Spanish guitar, it's not really related as a Nordic instrument. It's more, you know, and from the South in South America, as, as Spain, you know, uh, with a very temp temperament and expression, big feelings, you know. We don't have this in the north. We are a little more, you know, laid back. So I think that made my music different. It made it a little more simple uh, than traditional Spanish music. I think for me tonality is is very important. Uh, I think it's you know I, I like to work with music in minor. You know there's major and we have minors. One is typical, known to be very happy, and one is typical, known to be a little sad. And 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 I love the melancholicness in music that often relates from playing music in minor. So all my music is written in minor. And it's not that I'm a sad person, but it's just that I really, really think that it's so beautiful when you have music that is a little melancholic. And that speaks to my heart. For me, when I compose music, it's like a very introvert process. You know, it's very easy, it's very important for me to create a space where it's only me and the music. And that is the reason why I often go away um, to experience other, you know, things that can inspire me, but also to, to you know, to to really be focused on this solitude and being 
in an introvert process, you can say. And when you when you perform concerts, when you play a concert live, it's the total opposite. It's very you know extrovert and, uh, and it's an outgoing process. You know you you travel and you go on the stage and you meet people and you interact with your audience. So the the, the two processes are very 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 different. Um, and I like both processes. I must say I like playing live better. I think in life you get uh, seducted to, to something, you know, you get drawn to a universe that can be anything in music or art or architecture, you know. And for me, I've been drawn to the universe of, of you know, beautiful and uh, simple melancholic uh, songs. Mm -hmm. 